Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zach. Welcome back. Before we quickly dive into the video, I just want to shout out Bog Whoppet, aka Steve, buddy in real life and a long-term buddy in EVE for helping us with the Vaga and also buying us this amazing skin, the animated pink and blue thing. Absolutely fantastic. Wish I'd had it for the Kronos vid. But yeah, thanks a lot, dude. Appreciate all the support and everybody else as well. It's uh, It's been great, you know, just making the odd EVE video now and again. Always got... Uh, Good show of hands off you guys, so thanks a lot. Right, so diving into the fit, uh, we're just going to go over this super quick because it's pretty cookie cutter for me, to be honest. Uh, just like max damage potential, look at this DPS, boys. Like 4,187.7 on the guns. Obviously, this is with hail. And it's not actually a bad range when you think about it. I mean, the top end fall off's 51, but you can obviously hit like way beyond that. And because the DPS is so high, you're still doing like decent, like even beyond that, right? But yeah, so we've got polarized auto cannons because like DPS, right? Bastion mod, couple of trap beams, salvage out, which we never really use. Uh, the the mids are pretty much standard, uh, the same as the the Kronos, uh, right? So we've got the Gist X extra large shield booster for the cap, which helps the uh, the Vaga quite a lot. Even though I'm starting to feel like I need to start like stepping away from being cap stable. I mean, I'm not really cap stable here, but we're like 20 minutes, right? Because it's really not needed on these uh, ships, I think. It, like, in the future, I think we'll revisit them and see how we can rework all that sort of stuff. Um, we've got we're X-Type. We'll call it we're Gist X-Type Mike Warp Drive. Again, that's for the uh, the non-capacity capacitor nerf. Bit of a mouthful to say that. Uh, large cap battery for the actual cap. Couple of Triton computers with optimal range scripts, which uh, give we a nice little bit of extra range. And as always, the micro jump drive slots, yeah, flex slot, so you can... Put like a amp boost in there or anything you like. It's pretty much depend on the mission, I would say. Or you could even put like another Triton computer in to just go silly. Um, we've got four RF gyro stabilizers. I didn't go with the abyssals this time because I had a nightmare selling them. The other ones to to get some cash to put into this, right? <laughs> but yeah, so we just went for the the RF ones and the Triton enhancer as well. Pretty good. Now usually I would go with the a control circuit rig and then the well maybe two control circuit rigs that would probably keep us stable but instead i went for the uh the core defense cap safeguard which like reduces the uh the cap need of the shield booster which is pretty good it's already low to start with so it's nice and for this one the burst area now obviously we're using like four gyro stabs so we're already like on the third one we're only getting like 28 percent bonus off this one and then adding that the additional fire rate seemed a bit weird but i tried it and again because we're talking about like thousands and thousands of dps it's actually worth it right so if we just knock that off you can see it takes it down 4100 ish and then so we're gaining like a good couple couple of hundred dps it doesn't sound a lot but over time that would help and really I'm struggling to figure out something else to put in the rigs other than when I make like a nano version of this so I can pretend I'm a Macarial again, but that's in the future, right? And yeah, just the usual charges, uh, drones, whatever. We've got the, the, the drugs for like max potential DPS. I'm still 2% uh, off the auto cannon uh, damage, so that's like building it up a little bit plus a little bit more. And we've got the oh shit thing which gives where the shield boost bonus in there, so yeah. Pretty standard, to be honest. I'm probably not going to run this generally. I'm just going to stick, like, the, the Republic Fleet 800 guns on. Because they do a little bit extra damage in the T2s, like, just for general use. Uh, probably going to be doing some, like, open fleets and stuff. Starting, like, today, which is uh, Monday. As soon as I've done this vid, we're going to dive onto Twitch. And see what we can uh, get done. And maybe help some new bros out, right? But, yeah, I've had... Um, Loads of fun in the VOG. I'll probably just overlay some footage. Uh, the only thing, like I say, it's like so slow. Like it only gets up like a thousand MS with the, the micro drive on. And I really want to make it like a crazy nano fit. So you, like two nanos and maybe like some friction nozzle joints in the uh, in the rigs or something. Just to make it like as mercurial as we can. Because I think as much as it's like awesome at DPS, like moving around it just feels mega mega slow. But yeah, guys, so, I mean, there's not really much to say other than, like, holy shit, again, like, CCP's just made these Marauders absolute monsters, right? And uh, you could probably see that in the missions as we're, we're spamming through them there. But yeah, um, the only other thing, I've, I've gathered quite a lot of mission footage for this, so maybe or maybe not, depending if I've got the time, I'll put some, like, an extended video of, like, speedrunning the missions or whatnot. But yeah, it's absolutely awesome. Really liking it. 
uh, please share your fits in the uh, chat, you know, if you've lost any, have you have you been ganked in yours or whatnot. Let us know, guys, all the, the juicy information, and I'll leave you with the rest of the vid. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Your vision slips away, you're falling down, but don't be afraid, we're coming back to you, we're holding back, until that day, you fall again, we're coming back to you. See the end We rise up through the thunder